Well, hello there. PD Two Finger here with the ABCs of vaping. So you decided you're going to quit smoking. Well, hats off to you, my friend. You've made a wise decision. If you're considering utilizing an e-cigarette or vaping, uh, I can confidently tell you you're going to make it. You're going to be able to do this. Now, why am I so confident about that? Well, I was like the worst. I was utilizing a crank machine with what they call pipe cut tobacco, which is cheap. And I won't tell you the number of packs of cigarettes that I was running through a day. I'll just say the only way I could have been consuming more cigarettes is if I were to be utilizing them Looney Tune style, where you have them in your ears, mouth, nose, and rectum. Uh, so, <laughs> again, vaping, that's the way to go. I'm an expert quitter, although I always found myself after making it through that cold turkey, that full withdrawal thing, I always ended up coming back, and that's because something was missing. And with vaping, you'll find that it's better. That's the thing that people, why is everyone successful at quitting smoking with vaping? Because forget the health benefits, forget that it doesn't stink the house up, forget the health benefits, forget that if you're smart about it, it can be a little cheaper. Back to back, smoking a cigarette or vaping if you're vaping right you have decent equipment and you have good juice it's there's no comparison it's so much better vaping is there is no contest so someone over at i wanted to say thanks and give credit where credit is due there's a guy who calls himself vapor ironically at the fast tech forums now fast tech is a it's a distributor that they sell this kind of stuff and it's good deals online and they also have a forum it's a great forum all kinds of uh, useful healthful information at the fast tech forum uh, no typical internet behavior it's all upstanding fine young human beings helpfully assisting each other with positive attitudes. Uh, <laughs> it's just a love fest going on at the Fast Tech Forum. This guy had suggested some ideas for my channel uh, as I'm doing it wrong. So I would focus on e-cigarettes, uh, excuse me, Sigalike style. And those are the uh, delivery devices that are they're typically found in gas stations and they're what most people who are kind of in the dark about this. Most people that don't know, they think that's what an e-cigarette really is. Um, so I, I had been through that, I had been down that road, and you know, the only thing I'll say is I, like a month into it, a month and a half into it, when I started getting the right stuff, I was like, man, I wish, like I would do anything to build a time machine, have this equipment, and go back to that quit date because if I would have had all this, like, I went through a lot of hardship and suffering because I just didn't have the right stuff. I smoked the first five days after my quit date. I smoked every day. I, I smoked like, I'd make it like 12 hours and my eyes were bugging out of my head and I was like, give me an effing cigarette, you know? And I would, and I would smoke like a pack in like four hours, so. But it's like I said, I'm confident. I, I can smell it. People smoke now. I smell it, and I'm like, it doesn't even phase me. So, yeah, this series is going to be ABCs of vaping. I'm going to be going through the alphabet in glossary style. So anytime a word pops up that would be relevant to e-cigarettes or vaping, I'll talk about that a little bit. Hopefully try to keep the time down, keep it on track. Uh, so I appreciate it. If I miss anything, please feel free to comment. I, I love it when I get comments. Subs and likes don't help, don't hurt either. So uh, without further ado, I'll get going on this. And like I said, sorry about the length of this first one. It might be might run a little long on some of these episodes, depending on, on what we're dealing with. But uh, I'm going to try to keep them reasonable. So A. A is for analog. So when you become a real vape person and you have your gauges installed in your ears and you have your full body tattoo, you're wearing your ironic band t-shirt and you've grown your neck beard out, at that point you no longer refer to your Marlboro Reds, Marlboro Medium, Marlboro Light, Marlboro Menthol, Newport, Pall Mall, uh, Lucky Strike, <laughs> Virginia Slim, American Spirits, as cigarettes, these have now become analogs. And I would give this, I would lend this to the fact that we are utilizing electronic nicotine delivery systems. 
which typically they all have a power source or a battery. Then there'll be the atomizer, which is where the magic happens, and then like a drip tip. It's, it's really basically when you break it down, it's pretty simple. Uh, it can be extremely overwhelming. Uh, you know, and that brings me to another point. Like when I started, I spent a lot of time online, but I, it's like a lot of the videos and information that's out there is like really advanced. Like these guys are like, they're, they've been doing it a real long time and there's all different styles of vaping. Um, I fall more into the category at this point of like a maintenance vapor. Like I'm, I'm not sport vaping, I'm not cloud chasing or, you know, like I just needed something to really help me stop smoking cigarettes and I wanted that to work well. I didn't want to have to get too fiddly with it. Uh, so I've pretty much been able to accomplish those goals. And the main thing is, is that I'm, I'm comfortable and I don't crave cigarettes. And that's amazing. That is, to me, is like, because I've been through this quitting cycle and it sucks. But I can confidently say <laughs> I'll never smoke a cigarette again. The, the best way I could put it, let's say I was like locked in a jail cell for 25 years. And every day I had one meal and that was unflavored ramen noodles, cold. Like that's what I got to eat, you know, for, for almost 30 years. And then one day a guy came and he said, well, here's this, you know, gourmet high-end menu. And it's got everything from fast food to the rarest delicacies, anything you want. You know, you want a T-bone with a baked potato salad, done. Fried chicken dinner uh, with all the trimmings, done. Deep dish pizza, done, you know. Chicago style hot dog, done. Well, a month into that, eat whatever I want three times a day, picking off that menu. Do you really think I would sit down in that cold cell after finishing one of these delicious meals and think to myself, hmm, you know, <laughs> that T bone was pretty good, but I sure could go for a bowl of that unflavored cold ramen right now. <laughs> that just would never happen. So that would be one little goofy analogy that I thought of today that might help to back up my little uh, going on and on here about how fantastic it is to be a vapor. But it really is. So <clears throat> as a thankful vapor, uh, trying to give a little bit back, we're going to move on here. A not only is for analogs, but A is also for atomizer. Now atomizer, this could take up like three hours. There's a bunch of different types of atomizers. There's like the cartomizers. Most of those aren't refilled. There are some that you refill. The Sigalike is the small one that looks like a cigarette. That They're not really good. They serve a purpose, but, you know, I wouldn't really mess around with those. The Sigalikes use the cartomizer in there. Um, really uh, much more popular methods nowadays, what's going on is either the RTA or the RDA. The RTA is a rebuildable tank style atomizer. The RDA is a rebuildable, rebuildable dripping style atomizer. Now, you also have like the Pro Tank or the Mini Pro Tank. These are very popular, especially with beginners. Uh, they hold like, this is like 1.75 mil. This is like two and a half mil. And it's got a coil that you screw into the base. They work well. Uh, they're not the best for flavor. Sometimes they're little leakage issues. Um, people usually use these in the beginning. Like a lot of vapors will start out trying an e-cig and then they'll find out like that really isn't the way to do it which is it's kind of a shame because like the most readily available vaping device are these Sigalikes. They're at all the gas stations and convenience stores. The big tobacco manufacturers are pushing these and they don't work. They taste terrible. They don't really deliver the nicotine well. Uh, the battery is like only lasts a little bit. You're constantly having to recharge it. Most of them you can't refill them. If you do refill them it's messy and you get in the liquid in your mouth. It's They're awful. They're absent. The only reason a company would put that on the market is if they wanted you to not vape. You understand where I'm going with that? Big Tobacco is putting these devices in gas stations. So that's just something to think about. Uh, am I going to put my tinfoil hat on? No. Uh, I've had that embedded uh, in between my scalp and my noggin so I don't have to worry about that anymore. But yeah, this would be the coil for the Pro Tank. And I'm not slagging these. These are good. I, 
I'm kind of moving away from these. I mean, the coils cost a dollar. Inside of that coil, there's a little wire, and that heats up and glows. There's a piece of silica. It's like yarn, and the e-liquid gets sucked up into that yarn, and then that coil glows and makes the vapor. So that's like kind of a step, the stepping stone into the next level, uh, which would be the RTA, the rebuildable tank atomizer. And the way that these work, let me get one here. This has the coil inside the chimney. There's the coil in there. And that there's two posts coming up with screws, and you remove those screws, and then you buy a spool of wire. You wrap that wire around something skinny like a drill bit, and then you screw that down on the posts. And you can, you know, the wire is cheap. It's it's nothing compared to replacing those coils. And then it gives you the freedom to experiment with all sorts of different coil builds for different performances and tweaking it. Um, for me, being just like a vein maintenance, no-nonsense vapor. Um, I'm not into like cloud chasing or producing these Godzilla ridiculous, you know, Armageddon mushroom clouds with zero nicotine. <laughs> I, uh, I prefer the RTA, the rebuildable tank atomizer. I keep it simple. It's a single coil. Uh, I use cotton, Japanese cotton or, you know, cotton is what I use for my wicking material. And I find that the RTAs are that is my preferred device. Now, the other, and these are very popular, it's called a, an RDA, that's a rebuildable dripping atomizer. And I have a, this isn't the best example, this is like a mini dripper, and it's the same thing basically, minus the tank. So here are the two posts, and there's a little coil that I've wound and put on there. Uh, take a look at that. Woo! And then chimney goes over that there's air hole in the chimney and then here's the little mouthpiece or drip tip so with this device you would remove the drip tip and then drop a couple drops of the e-liquid on top of that wick and then replace this fire it up and then I use this for sampling juice it's just like a cheesy little dripper but that dripping is more lent to like cloud chasing and massive vapor production it's very popular a lot of people are utilizing dripping that seems to be uh, like where it's really been at. People still do use tanks. They Most papers use both. I'm kind of hung up on the tanks. I don't like having to move around a lot and constantly be adding the liquid. So I've been utilizing a tank. But uh, So A is for atomizer. Atomizer is the device that transforms the liquid into a vapor for our enjoyment. There are many, many styles. Uh, the three main types of atomizers that are on the market are the cartomizer, uh, the RTA, rebuildable tank atomizer, the RDA, the rebuildable dripping atomizer, and then, well, the fourth would be that, like that pro tank style, or the, the Nautilus, you know, they have different ones where they have replaceable coils. So that would be, I'm trying to think what that's actually called. That's also very popular though, those, t the tank that is that you don't rebuild the coil and those are you know like if, if you're gonna be doing this I would suggest you don't bypass don't skip right into dripping the RDA don't skip right into the tank the RTA go ahead and pick yourself up something like a Nautilus a Nautilus mini with the replaceable coil something like a uh, a pro tank pro tank mini because there is a little bit too battery safety and things like Ohm's law and winding these coils where if you're going to be concentrating on quitting smoking and going through that transition to have just a pro tank where you screw a coil in put the juice in charge your battery and go you're going to find that to be that's going to be you know about at the level of bullshit that you're going to want to put up with until you're kind of used to not smoking and vaping because it is it is a transition that you must go go through there is it's just a lot more involved than you know whenever you feel like it reaching over grabbing your smokes and lighting one up as opposed to maintaining your vape equipment so that is the you know that's the thumbs down that's the downside to vaping the thumbs up 
There is so much. I could go on for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, literally hours, hundreds of hours. Um, as far as the other A's, Apple Jacks. A is for Apple Jacks. A tasty cereal vape, Apple Jacks by the Epic Juice Corporation was one of the first juices that I sampled that I was able to thoroughly enjoy. I absolutely loved me the Apple Jacks. Uh, a would be also for an automatic atomizer. They have some of them, like uh, when you first start, they have those Sigalikes, and those do not have a button. When you utilize the device and you puff on it, the sucking action triggers an internal switch which automatically fires up that device. Um, most of the stuff that people are using has some sort of a switch. You know, this has you can see there I'm you know rapidly depressing the switch. This is a okay, battery box that has a uh, readout on it and does all the guesswork for you. There's a switch here on the side of this. Your Ego style batteries. I mean, the skinny one that I have here on this U piece and has a switch over here. You can see that lighting up. Most of these devices have switches. There's all sorts of different designs for this equipment. Um, the automatic style is good if you're driving and you want to do hands-free operation. They do sell some stuff like that. The Sigalike stuff is designed like that where it's just, you know, it's more like a transitional phase if you're deciding that you want to try it out. I would say that those Sigalikes would be, Sigalikes would definitely work for you. And you know, you have to also keep in mind that if you are a light smoker, you're one of these people that, you know, you smoke three cigarettes a day or five if you're at the bar. Maybe just that cigalike would be more than enough for you. You know, so I wouldn't want to necessarily steer everyone away from a cigalike. I would just say that if you're if you try one of those and you find it lacking, please keep in mind that vaping and e-cigarette technology has gone leaps and bounds away from cigalike style technology and there's so much more uh, equipment that's available that is extremely more effective in producing the vapor and is, is better in every single aspect you could imagine as opposed to a single like type design so thank you for joining me for the ABC's of vaping I'm gonna be continuing this uh, as I go I'm gonna try to keep at it maybe uh, some letters won't have anything. Maybe some letters will end up being extra long. Some might be extra short. I may end up combining some letters. You know, so we'll kind of see how it goes. I'm going to try to be consistent about uploading these on a regular basis. But I don't want to. I don't want to uh, like say, well, I'm going to upload every day. I I'm kind of disabled. I have a painful back injury, so it's some days it's really tough. Sometimes I go through phases where it's tough for me to do anything for a few days. Um, you know, if I'm in a real lot of pain, there's no way I can set up the lights, turn the lights on, and sit here and like pretend like everything's okay when I'm like really suffering excruciating pain. So uh, thank you very much for joining me, and peace.